Hi everybody, I'm Jim. And I'm Rich. And we're playing Resident Rise. And Jim's blazing it. <laughs> oh my god, it is 420. I am blazing it. Um, I was going to go with Gunslinger on account of I am basically dueling blazes to the death with my crossbow. Spoilers, I am winning. But we need blaze rods in order to um, properly construct our things. And we don't really have the means yet to effectively automate it. Running power and whatnot to the nether is tricky. Um, it's a lot easier to try and move the spawner back to the overworld. But doing that is a bit tricky too. I think I just made twice as many of those as I actually needed. What are you making? I was making um, a certain type of ascension tube. Yeah, what are you up to, Rick? You're working on your wizard tower setup? Yeah, I'm working to get my alchemy stuff set up. Yeah, I needed four of them and I made eight. Oh well. And what does that entail? Huh? It doesn't have any tails. Oh, for fuck's sake. Please learn words. What? What are you doing? I can't see you. I'm making the stuff I'm... I need to automate some alchemy. Yeah. Alchemy is the bit where you, like, extract essence from stuff? Yep. Well, not... Yeah, it's liquid essence, essentially. Liquid essentia. Liquid essentia, which is different from essence. Probably. Because essence is like XP. No, that's V. What? Oh my god. So many mods, so many technical terms. This is why I'm not a wizard. You're not a wizard because it's too complicated for you. No, I'm, a, I'm not a wizard because I get to lock myself in a room in a hell dimension with a bunch of terrifying fire monsters and just blow them oh, away see, with a crossbow that I built. I could do that, but I don't want to. Sure. I'm sure our viewers will definitely note that the entire time I've been building infrastructure for everybody to use... Um, and you've been building a wizard tower. Well, yeah, well, your infrastructure doesn't really help me make uh, golems or magic wands. And besides, if they, if, they, if they were paying attention, I built that stuff last time. Yeah. My stuff is here, and it's better. I don't know if I would say better. <laughs> Just easier. You took the easy path of the engineer. The easy path of the engineer. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I was busy being locked in a room with a bunch of flying fire monsters. Apology accepted. For fuck's sake. I hate you so much. Oh, I, I, I hear that a lot. Usually from you. Oh dear. Oh dear. Never mind. Problem solved. Yay. Problem solved. Yeah, I've carefully sealed all the blazes in a room. And I'm going to take these uh, blaze rods and I'm going to use them to improve our infrastructure. I'm going to build ender tanks and ender chests. And ender this and ender that. Yeah, basically. Of course, I forgot the great wood planks. Also, i got to admit, gunslinging blazes is pretty fun. I can't wait till I get flayed as well. I'm getting close. I offered to build you a jetpack. Yeah, but it's not magical. It's true. I'm an engineer. I mean, last time I had a jetpack, I really crashed and burned. That you did. That you did. And. We were legitimately sad about it. Mm -hmm. That's what you keep claiming. I'm skeptical. I was li go back and watch the episode. No, no, it's too traumatizing. I'll just have to go with my memories. Oh my god! All right, green planks. Man, 
have to admit, this crossbow makes me feel powerful. Makes me feel safe. I'm not super enthused for opening this uh, up after and seeing all the stuff that spawned outside, though. I'm just waiting to, you know, take a look outside and see your army of wither skeletons. That's not impossible, but given that I'm going to fly out of here, I'm not super worried. You will be if they hit you before you get out of there. You will be. I, no, I think I'll be fine. Oh, okay. I'm getting some neat shards. So far I'm up to two deadly sins, gluttony and wrath. Yay? Why are you committing deadly sins? Uh, no, it's the shards that things drop in the nether, the magic shards. Do you not know about magic? Let me tell you about magic. I know about magic. Um, I'm just curious as to why you're, you know, creating... Why? Um, because I'm going to order some Chinese food after this, because I'm going to finally be off my all-ice cream diet. Oh, dude, get me some. And uh, it's going to be lovely. You should come here and pick up Chinese food and come hang out with me. It's tempting. Yeah. Uh, but I have to edit a bunch of videos. But, yeah, I, uh, but you as, of, as of filming time, I had, like, major dental surgery on, uh, like, two days ago. I was about to say on Friday, and then I realized that that would be completely meaningless. But uh, it means that I've basically been eating nothing but ice cream for the past, like, ice cream and mashed potatoes for the past, like, three days. And I like ice cream, and I would like to, at some point later in my life, still like ice cream. Whoop! Took my hand off the mouse for a second. Nearly uh, got blazed. So I have to admit, with this crossbow, um, the problem of fire resist gear is not that much of a problem. I am sufficiently fast on the draw that. Uh, It's or like it, it's they're not hitting me. That's always good. Agreed. Yeah, this crossbow. This is the build. This is the first thing I ever built out of, out of uh, Endarium. I used a, bun a bunch of our shiny metal to make it. Endarium is one of the the sort of toughest metals in Tinker's construct. Uh, there's better, but this is the best for weapons. Yeah. So, Darium and Signalum and... I forget what I used for a bunch of it. I will admit, leaves. it makes me sad that it's better than a rail rifle. Oh, well, you could always go back to your rail rifle. Uh, I never built the Ender rail rifle because I didn't feel like I had a secure enough supply of Ender pearls yet. What are you talking about? I'm growing them in the greenhouse. Oh, I forgot that you had set that up. Hmm. But uh, it takes a lot of Ender pearls too. But this thing is vastly more powerful. It does 96 and a half hearts of damage. It's bonkers. And I love it. You're welcome. Honestly, I'm just looking for... I'm in it for the Chinese food at this point. Sir, there we are. Yeah, you wouldn't even share the Chinese food. What was it I wanted to make with Lucrum? What is that? Make sure there's no fire over here when I go and pick this stuff up. Yeah, there's blazes out there. I'm gonna maybe... Oh, I have flown too close to the sun. That doesn't sound very good. 
That's fine. I just sort of... I opened a hole so I could try and clear some of the blazes outside. And, uh... I got shot. It helps that I have I, I can hit them from a range rather than using my sword. I thought flying too close to the sun would melt your wings and you'd crash and burn. No, my wings aren't made out of wax. I have a jetpack. Then who cares if you fly too close to the sun? Well, I mean, other than the fact you probably light on fire and burn. Did I... Did I get that one? Yes, I did. Not have gold ingots. Other thing I should do while I am here is remove all my death markers. I don't need them anymore. There we go. Clean up my my view a little bit, and not and not point out all the little embarrassing spots where I died. All, all of them. Ooh, someone's a salty fellow. There we are. You're right. Minecraft is a first-person shooter now. Told ya. Is there a stone door? Did they like introduce that anywhere? No. I didn't think so. It's all wood doors. I didn't bring any wood with me, so I'll bring it next time and I'll put some doors in this uh, blazing closure. Also getting lots of levels, which is good because it's going to help me upgrade my armor. Why do you need levels for upgrading armor? Uh, the the Ender IO armor, uh, so you can upgrade it with all kinds of things, but it takes uh, I think it's yeah. Ten levels and a and and specific gear to upgrade it in an anvil. Okay. So the the real thing I'm really looking for is the resonant one, which is which will instead of durability. Ooh, wither skeletons. Capture them in your pokeball. Uh, I killed them all. They're dead now, and sadly, they fell off a cliff when they died, so I can't pick up anything they might have dropped. Oh, that's from your mom. You the crucible. I'm heartbroken. What, that I'm doing something wrong? No, that I wasn't able to gather wither head skeleton heads for you so you could spawn the boss. You should be. Yeah, another star. I can make some pretty cool guns with another star. I can make cool things with another stars too. I know. I can take over the world with another stars. Man. But no, they all fell down and died. It was very sad. We're all very sad here. I'm not. No, but no, the resonant uh, upgrade will let me use RF instead of um, durability. So it'll make my armor last longer, and it will help my armor protect me more because it will take damage to RF rather than hurting me if I upgrade it enough. I can also up upgrade it with a set of uh, Apiris stuff. Okay. So that it will protect me from bees, and it'll become my beekeeper suit. Yes, bees are wonderful. And once I get out of this hell dimension, I'm going to go back to my bees. Yay bees? Y yay bees is correct. That that is correct. Yay B C D. No? No. Okay. 
So what are you building? You're just still making like a billion piles of clay jars and alembics. Oh god, I haven't even started on the jars yet. No, I need alembics <laughs> to uh uh so I can start make what the but there's a zombie in leather armor over there. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, but it happened in my desert. It in my desert. I need to create a safe path uh, between my tower and your workshop until you know you get around to running that cable for me. I suppose. You'll get there. Don't worry. I still haven't decided if I want to, you know, store Essentia on discs or if I want to use jars. Let me recheck our power requirements if you're going to use discs, though. No, I think I want to use jars just because there's some cool automagy stuff I can use with it. Nice. The jars look cool, too. Like, once you get all... It, it seems painstaking to get all the labels and stuff oh, on it, is but... it ever. I need to get a golem cool. pet as soon as I can for filling jars. I mean, you have no idea how hard it is to fill jars by hand. No, I don't. And then label them. Need golem so badly. <laughs> I might have the stuff I can use to make a uh, essential reservoir. I might have the What's research. That? Um. Well, let me read the description here from Advanced Essential. Oh no, I got to do infusion altars, and I haven't set up that yet. But oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's going on the roof. So it'll be like you got the stars all above it, candles surrounding it. We'll do my magical infusion rituals in the middle of the night. That seems rad. See if I can get some blood up there somewhere. If you find any blood, let me know because I could use some for this. Uh, It'll be in the nether. Blaze spawner. Uh, most types of essentia are fairly volatile and care must be taken in its storage. That is why most thaumaturges use warded jars. You, however, are not most thaumaturges. Using the wonderful new substance called Void Metal, you have discovered a way to greatly improve the storage of Essentia. Essentia reservoirs are capable of storing up to 256 Essentia in any combination. Potentially disastrous mixing of the different Essentia types is prevented by having dynamically reshaping compartments crafted from the new metal. Like jars, so, the reservoirs can only be accessed from one side, though you can choose how they are oriented. Unfortunately, they cannot be emptied or filled by hand, so you need to rely on tubes or golems for that. Picking up a reservoir while filled is, um, inadvisable. You were so pleased with this discovery that you showed it off to some of your fellow thaumaturges. Strangely, most of them died for cover even after you assured them that the constant sound of metal under incredible stress is perfectly normal. That's pretty cute. <laughs> so basically, it's like a super storage thing. Yeah, but it can it can essentially store like everything in there. So I think what I'm probably going to use it for is overflow into um, crystallizers. Okay. Which essentially turn uh, liquid essentia into uh, essentia crystals, which you can then later smelt down for one uh, essentia per thing. Yeah. I'm sending stuff back into the uh, storage system through my ender pouch. Mother, son of a! Oh, everything sounds there. There, there sounds like it's going great. Oh, I went to make an alembic, but I didn't have enough oh. uh, of the type of V in my uh, Don't shoot scepter. those. Those are pigmen. Pigmen are nice. Don't shoot the pigmen. Shoot the pigmen. Not shooting the pigmen. Shoot the pigmen. I'm not shooting the pigmen. They I don't like the pigmen. They want to kill you. They don't want to kill me. They'll want to kill me if I shoot them. Listen, I could go try mining some ores out there, and then they'll want to kill you. Swear to you, God. You shouldn't swear, man. Ooh, I just got an ender pearl. Okay, I've hit the point where now I can start distilling stuff into jars. So I need to make jars. Um, I also need to I find out what block I decide I'm going to use for my uh, carpenter's stuff here. I love that I can look in my ender pouch and see stuff like travel through it as it enters the storage system. 
Like stuff that's getting grabbed from your uh, mine in the mining world, or... I need a hungry chest. Oh, crap. I might die out here. Uh, do you remember the recipe for trapdoors, Jim? I super might die out here, Rick. Oh, God. Well, yeah, but what, what's the recipe for trapdoors? What? Doors? Trapdoors. Trapdoors is six along the bottom. No, it's six along the top, apparently. Yeah, the either, either will work. I need to get some more wood. Okay, go back to dying now. I was accidentally standing in fire. How do you accidentally stand in a fire, Jim? They throw fire at you! But how did you accidentally stand in it? I thought I was just on fire. Get out of the nether. Seriously, it's not good for your health. No kidding! Get out of there. Hell dimension full of fire monsters! Yeah, yeah, you should get out of there. Yeah, I should probably go home. Oh, how convenient. We have a trapdoor already. What else do I need for a hungry chest? Uh, seven planks. Because, I mean, why have a normal chest when you can have a hungry one? No, seriously. It's just why? I don't know. I don't know what a hungry chest is. So. Oh, if items fall on the ground near it, it eats them. Oh, that's cute. And stores like them inside it. I'm going to have to get another one for when I put up my Inferno Furnace. Because, I mean, why use a regular furnace when I can use one that seems to have an elemental? Okay. Inside? Now I have to get home. You remember to bookmark the portal, right? I bookmarked the portal. I'm just trying to figure out the best way there. I, oh, I did tell you that I took it offline, right? You are lying. Give me a couple minutes and I won't be. I will kill you. Actually, no, I don't think it'll matter, because you, you'll have to take it offline from this side. You'll kill me with Chinese food that you'll bring over? Um, Cause you know, Mom hasn't seen you in a while. Yeah. Mm, I have to edit these videos. Otherwise, we don't have a Minecraft series. We just have a lousy friendship. I'm just kidding. That was really mean. That was so mean. That was kind of mean. I'm sorry. I'm going to dump liquid death all over your workshop now. That wasn't liquid death all over the workshop mean. It means it could be painful if you try walking around in there. Nah, I cleared out with turtles. Can they clear out liquids? Um, they can place blocks. I wonder if the liquid death would kill turtles. It won't. Nothing kills turtles. Lava does. Only under very specific circumstances. Gym controlled circumstances. Sometimes, yes. Okay. So now I need warded jars, but do I want to make regular warded jars? Or get some technomancy and make quantum right. jars? 72,000 liquid essence. Good stuff. Good job, everybody. So, Jim, what do you think of the term quantized glass? That's a word. Quantized, yeah. I mean, quantized is a word. Mm -hmm. Combine that with some neutronized metal. That's probably not a word. Oh, I can't do it yet. Damn it. Let's restock my bees. I don't have enough help to me set up for it yet. I right, head back to the workshop and see if we can upgrade our armor. With the materials that I got, because I made some alloy. Yeah. So neutralized metal needs me to uh, throw some uh, thomium into a crucible that's got two ordo and two potentia. I can't make thomium yet. Um, energetic alloy. Mostly because I don't have everything set up. I'll have to make some regular jars to start. Let's see what we need. Everything. Well, yeah. We need a vibrant crystal. Did you have some vibrant stuff? 
I have some vibrant. I need to make vibrant alloy. No, I have to use it with ender per. I have to use, put my alloy in uh, the oh, alloy smelter with ender pearls. For my builder's one for now. I don't think I need five buckets on me. So we're not going to get that done this time. No. And by the next time we get recording, I will hopefully have my alchemy room set up properly. So that I can start making other stuff. And by properly, I mean have jars that I and golems to put stuff away. And if I do it right, well, I maybe might. Maybe we could do that. that. I might even be able to have a setup that'll allow me to use power. Ooh, power is nice. Yeah. So, my goal before next video is to uh, work on my elevator. <laughs> I don't know if I've showed off... I th yeah, I've showed off the Arcane Levitator before, so I'm probably going to clean up that elevator shaft that Jim dug. Jim had Ophelia dig for me. Good yeah, Ophelia. Ophelia dug that. Don't worry, Ophelia. I won't don't kill you. Don't talk to Ophelia like she's a dog. She doesn't like that. Good Ophelia. I won't kill you. The other turtles, maybe, but not Ophelia. I like Ophelia. But, yeah, I might get my elevator set up properly so I no longer have to use ladders to go up to my other rooms. But before that, I gotta get my alchemy room finished. So, and that means golems. Vibrant crystal. So vibrant crystal. Put our anvil down. God, that thing makes an awful noise. What does? I have never actually used this. You want awful noise? Oh my lord. I think I'm going to need an infusion, al infusion altar set up before I can do 50 my... 50% uh, of their... 50% uh, of their damage will be absorbed by the power that's in here. Okay. So, what was now it I can charge... I have to go charge my pants. Yay. What was making the terrible noise? The anvil? Yeah, the anvil. Alright. I wonder if I can charge my diamond sword to repair it. Um with Tinker's Construct, you could. My weapons all charge. Yeah, but this is a regular diamond sword. Oh and then no. I can make stuff in uh with Thongcraft that'll repair it. Fair. Anyway, so we'll get that done for next episode. Yeah, I'll try to have most of my magic stuff filmed up for next episode so I can start building off and showing off cool things rather than just building the parts to build the parts. <laughs> Story of Minecraft. Yep. See everybody later. Bye! You guys didn't see my, see my jazz hands. <laughs>